long par four, dog leg to the right. Looks going to work well because I play a fade. About 460 yards. See if we can get a birdie out here. Be dead center. All right, found myself here in the middle of the fairway. Got lucky, I missed this divot here. That would have been a pain. But we got about 195 to the to the flag. It's a back pin, so I'm gonna just hit it to the center of the green, let it roll back. See how that works out for us. Looks like we're just short right. Maybe should have hit a five instead of a six there, but Let's see if we can get up and down. All right, kind of unlucky. Just hit this ridge right here and just rolled all the way down. So I'm gonna have to chip it up over this hill and get it to check up next to the flag. I just got a 56 degree. Let's see if I can open the face just a little bit accelerate through the ball and get it to stop. I'm out of this rough, so I don't know if I'm going to get a lot of spin, but we'll give it a try. Take that every day. Got a two-footer. A little two-footer to clean up for par. I always recommend cleaning off your ball, even if it's just a tap in. So if you don't, you never know what a weird roll will do. All right, nice little up and down for par. All right, guys, welcome back. We got a nice downhill par three here. It's 205, but it's playing 10 yards downhill, so playing 195. We're gonna hit a six iron here. Um, it's the front pin. So I'm hoping landing it pin high, roll it just past the flag a little bit. Um, need to get it over a li little ridge on the front of the green. On these long par threes, honestly, I'm just looking at getting it to the center of the green and just taking a two putt for par before making a long birdie putt. So, see how we get on here. It's just short of the green. Probably just be putting from off the fringe though, so I'm okay with that. Normally I just put it up there, but it's got a few feet on the fringe. I don't really like that, so I'm gonna chip it. I like chipping with my sand wedge instead of my lob wedge. I really only use my lob wedge for specialty shots or bunker shots where I have to really get it up. I have a lot more bounce on my sand wedge, so I use that as my main chipping wedge. 
All right, let's see if we can get this in close. Not too bad. Nice little tap in for par. Long par three is I'm okay with that. Welcome back. Um, we're back here at Highland Golf Course. Got a 360 yard dog leg left up the hill. Um, been swinging the driver well today. I'd usually hit three wood on this hole, but. Been swinging it well. I'll control it a little bit, but. Not really much of a point using three wood if you've been. Hitting driver up the middle all day. Gotta let the big dog eat. Alright, so we got a middle pin. I'm gonna go ahead and hit a nine iron. There's no reason to not just attack this pin right now. It's just sitting dead center. See what we can do with it. Go in. Ah, just long. Good shot. So you know when you think you hit a good shot and then you get up there and you find that you are 30 feet away from the pin? Because, same. break towards the city so this one's uphill I think it's pretty straight though let's nice put say par all right we made the turn here at Highland Golf Course Got the, got the glizzy on the turn, fill up the belly. Now we're just gonna let the big dog eat and crank one down the middle. Tenth hole here is about 380 yards. Let's get a nice drive and get a couple of birdies maybe. I'm getting tired of just making pars. the left hand side should be all right all right sorry hopefully you guys can see we're right in the sun but decent drive here got about 120 left playing a 49 degree wedge we're gonna just aim at the flag and fade it back aim at the middle of the green pins tucked to the left so don't want to mess with it a whole lot that turned out pretty well.
Thanks for tuning in my first whole blog. Um, hopefully I'll be uploading quite a bit coming up. I want to get this thing off the ground and running. So if you guys would, uh, would uh, subscribe, that'd be awesome. Um, like the video. I'm just getting started. So uh, hopefully a lot of good content coming your guys' way. I'm doing a lot of um, game improvement stuff. I'm sitting at about a eight to nine handicap right now. I um, like to get that down to probably three by the end of the summer. Um, I've been putting a lot of work on ball striking on my iron, so I think that's going to help out a lot. But I appreciate you guys coming and watching, and I'll see you in the next one.